So CBS Sports, how 10 teams with little cap space can help themselves. Browns were nine of the 10, um, and they have cut candidates. Jakeem Grant, Joe Haig, uh, who's owed $2 million and played one snap. Uh, defensive tackle Jordan Elliott, they have extension candidates. Amari Cooper, Donovan Peoples-Jones, Grant Delpit. Um, they can also restructure the contract of Deshaun Watson, uh, Denzel Ward, and Miles Garrett. So there's a way they, a lot of ways they can create cap space. G. Bush, I do not think unless Jordan Elliott um, does not show anything, I think they're going to want to see what Jim Schwartz can unlock with Jordan Elliott. That's that's a guy I'm interested to see. You know, <clears throat> some of this, some of this is, you know, you can save a little bit of cap money. Um, in one of two ways, you know what the free agents uh, like uh, Deron Payne want. You know what they want. Uh, you know what Hargroves want, right? You, you know Hargraves wants a, a big time contract. So you know how much Jordan Elliott is worth, right? You know he's two point seven million dollars right there. If you're looking at it, you say if I could get something, if I could coach up somebody, if I can get somebody to take another step then you won't need to go out and get a big-name defensive tackle. You may need, instead of two D-tackles, you say, give me one defensive tackle. I hope Perry on Winfrey makes the next step. I hope Jordan Elliott turns his career around. I hope that I can now get something, and, and maybe I could get something out of edge rusher like Alex Wright, who may go from a rotational guy to a possible starter. Um, So you look at those those situations where, you know, you got a new defensive coordinator. The defensive coordinator has to go in and assess one thing. Was it scheme? Was it talent? Or was it a case of, you know, you just didn't have the guys that you need to run what you need to run? So he may think, I can come in and put my defense in. Every coordinator thinks that their defense can turn people around. It happens all the time in college. When you go from, when, you, when a new defensive coordinator comes in, it, in recruiting, you can't turn around and recruit. 12 new defensive linemen and five linebackers and corners that go from running zone to playing man-to-man -man coverage. No, you just have to spend that offseason coaching guys up and take in teaching and technique and what you want them to do. And if you can get them to to step up to that and play a little more consistently in what you want to do in a better scheme, you can improve defenses. And Jim Schwartz has done that wherever he's gone, taking a medium defense or to a bad defense to average to above average to good. Um, in one year. So those are things that they could be running. Those are things that you could be doing. And I think that you you want guys to do, you know, to, to make those changes and do what you need to do. Now, I don't know about the extensions. I think you make, you know, Donovan Peoples-Jones has to prove it to me one more year. I think Donovan Peoples-Jones looks a lot better if you have a DeAndre Hopkins with, with Amari Cooper. I think Donovan Peoples-Jones look a lot better. I think the more you add, if you were able to add something to that, he looks a little better, but I think you had to prove it another year. And, you know, here's another thing about the Deshaun Watson thing. If you didn't have Deshaun Watson, you would probably have Baker Mayfield because you signed him $35 million. So I get that, you know, every, it's a running joke right here. Would you rather be the Browns or the, the, the uh, Las Vegas Raiders? I'd rather be the Browns. Because the Vegas Raiders don't believe they got a quarterback and they need to find one with aging talent all the way around. Yeah, no, I, and again, so 35 relative to 45, you know, it, it's a trade off. You were going to be paying a quarterback at least 35 million. Um, and, Regardless. And I think you probably got better value with the one you got. I, I'm, I'm going to take that leap of faith uh, with Andrew Barry and that front office.